You're watching News Channel 5 on your side. The man accused of shooting a Baldwin police officer will have to come up with a lot of money to get out of jail. How much his bond increased? Hall of shame, the restaurant's packing more than a day's worth of calories into a single meal. And St. Louis County police pose with shelter pets. The results are hilarious, but the message is serious. We begin this afternoon with new information about the shooting of a police officer from the Metro East. Late last night, the officer was shot during a pursuit in Carbondale, Illinois. He was rushed to a St. Louis hospital, and right now he is still in surgery. Five on your sides, Grant Bissell has learned the officer is originally from Granite City. Grant joins us from the newsroom with more details. Live in the newsroom, I'm Grant Bissell for News Channel 5 on your side. Grant, thank you. The man charged with shooting a Baldwin police officer is now being held on a million dollar cash only bond. A judge granted the prosecutor's request to double the bond during a hearing this morning. Antonio Taylor is charged with shooting Baldwin police officer Mike Flamian during a traffic stop just last month. Flamian is now paralyzed. Prosecutors argued the extent of Flamian's injuries are part of a reason a higher bond would be necessary. Now, the defendant, Taylor, was not in court this morning, but two members of the public defender's office were there to represent him. They argued the injuries should not be a factor in the bond hearing, but again, the judge granted the prosecution's request. There could soon be a shortage of law officers in northwest Missouri. Two police training academies in Chillicothe and Kirksville are canceled this month due to low enrollment. Three students were enrolled in the Chillicothe class and nobody enrolled in the Kirksville class. The Livingston County Sheriff says there could be a number of reasons for this. He points to recent negative headlines concerning police officers and low salaries for rural law enforcement. New information about a motorcyclist who died after fleeing police. Officials identified the man as 30 year old Harold Frick from Arnold. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says a deputy tried to pull Frick over for speeding yesterday. Deputies say instead Frick sped off at speeds topping 120 miles per hour. The deputy called off the chase. Investigators say Frick was driving south on I-55 near Peavley when he lost control of his motorcycle and crashed into a cable barrier. Frick died at the scene. If you ignore railroad crossing lights in Illinois, you could now face an even bigger fine under a new law. Governor Bruce Rauner recently signed a new law that doubles the fines currently in the books. So a first offense is going to cost you $500 and each offense after that, $1,000. Lawmakers say last year, Illinois was second in the country for fatalities at rail crossings. Tomorrow is primary day in Missouri and 1.2 million Missouri's, Missourians are expected to vote. The polls will open at 6 a.m. They stay open until 7 p.m. on Tuesday. You need an ID to cast a ballot. That's a driver's license, voter ID card, even a utility bill. All of them will work. News Channel 5 will have a team of reporters across the state covering all of the major races. We will have full election coverage and the very latest results on air and online. When heading back to school, a new haircut can be a big confidence booster. And today at Ferguson Middle School, barbers gave out free haircuts to students. The Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis organized this event, and it brought in barbers from all over the area to provide a free service. Organizers say a fresh haircut can go a long way to getting kids into the right frame of mind for the school year. Tonight, Maplewood leaders will discuss a plan to bring food trucks to the city. The Planning and Zoning Commission voted to uphold a ban on food trucks. That was in 2012, and several local businesses worried they'd lose customers. The commission will discuss the issue again tonight during its regularly scheduled meeting. Here's a live look at the stadium in downtown St. Louis. It's empty now, but soon will be full of soccer fans. AS Roma will face off against Liverpool FC. Tickets are still available for tonight's match. It starts at 730 and this is the fifth soccer match Bush Stadium has hosted in recent years. Cleanup is underway in a Maryland city devastated by flash flooding. The onslaught of rain killed two people and destroyed roads, cars and businesses in Ellicott, Maryland. NBC's Chris Pallone has that story. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is now advising pregnant women not to travel to the Zika transmission area in Florida near Miami. Pregnant women in that area are being told to take steps to prevent mosquito bites and sexual spread of the virus. The CDC issued this advisory today after Florida Governor Rick Scott announced there are 10 new infections of the Zika virus likely transmitted by mosquitoes. That brings the total in that state to 14. The governor says almost all of the Zika cases are in a one square mile neighborhood just north of downtown Miami. 
Health workers have been going door to door in that area, testing the people who live there. We are now working on several new stories for News Channel 5 at 5. New developments in a story we've been following since last month. A 13-year-old accused of shooting two people. Tonight on News Channel 5 at 5, the effort to keep her out of prison. Plus, a traffic alert for drivers in West County. The major road closure that could cause big headaches the next few months. And a heated confrontation between a veteran and a Pokemon player. It goes viral. Now one city is considering banning that game. We hope you will join us on News Channel 5 at 5. Katie, another hot week coming up. Well, if it's old enough, it's new again. And rugby is back after 92 years. And golf also is now an Olympic sport after a 112 year absence. But NBC's Jennifer Bjorklin tells us there's one true first at these games. Athletes from different countries who no longer, they no longer call home. And News Channel 5's Casey Nolan and Ryan Dean are in Rio right now. Look for their reports here starting August 5th. They're already posting videos on our Facebook page, though, if you'd like to see what they're up to this week. Police, pit bulls, and cats don't always get the respect they deserve, but St. Louis County officers have come up with a creative solution. They're now selling two different 2017 <laughs> calendars. One is called Pits and Police, the other Cops and Kittens. Oh. Both of them are pretty hilarious. They feature police officers I and shelter that. pets and all kinds of funny poses. Police oh. teamed up with local photographer Lynn Terry on this project, and all of the money raised oh. benefits St. Louis County Pets and the Police Welfare Association. <laughs> Katie, I think you want to buy one of these. I, I, I think a lot of people <laughs> will want to adopt. I think so, too. You can find a link to buy those calendars on our website, ksdk.com. Just look for this story in the top news section. Um, okay, so as hot as it will be tomorrow, the yes. headline truly is this threat for flash flooding. Right, of course, when it's raining, the heat won't be the issue, but when the heat stops, or when the rain stops, the heat's going to pick up quite a bit. Jennifer, 93 degrees tomorrow with a heat index near 100. Do be careful tomorrow morning. We have a flash flood watch in effect. That means flash flooding is possible, especially if we do pick up those three inches of rain. Got to be careful. Okay, thank you, Katie. And that does it for News Channel 5 at 4. Jeopardy's up next, and we're back here for News Channel 5 at 5. We'll see you then.